people are still giving support to an industry that entirely unnecessarily exploits and kills billions of sentient feeling beings every year. When it comes to animals that we consider pets, like our cats and dogs, we can see that of course they are individuals with personalities, emotions, and feelings. But suggest that all animals on the planet are individuals too, and that their lives matter more than our taste, money, pleasure, and convenience, and suddenly it's an extreme idea. Yet there is nothing extreme about compassion and peace, and not harming the most innocent creatures on this planet. What's extreme is the massive scale of exploitation, violence, and slaughter taking place every day. What's extreme is that it is, it's ignored by much of society. What's extreme are dragging fish out of the oceans when fisheries are in collapse and there are hundreds of nitrogen flooded dead zones caused by animal farming. What's extreme is continuing to create facilities that nobody wants in their backyard and that nobody should have to work in. What's extreme are the governments that continue to facilitate and prop up this violence with subsidies even as more and more individuals are standing up and saying no. What's extreme is believing that we are the only species that matters and the only species that wants to live. What's extreme is indoctrinating yet another generation of children to believe that this is how it has to be. But our gathering here today is evidence that things are changing, that more and more people are recognizing that it's not extreme to care for others, that it's not extreme to end unnecessary violence and slaughter, that it's not extreme to stand up for peace and justice. The fact that you are here today makes you part of the greatest peaceful revolution the world has ever known. Throughout history, humans have repeatedly picked arbitrary characteristics to justify exploiting others. But today, we are embracing justice for all and saying that species should not determine whether you can be exploited or oppressed. So let's just take a moment of silence now for the billions of animals that are suffering and being killed every single day and year. Hey guys, just want to jump in here really quick and say thank you so much for watching and if you enjoy this content, then please hit that subscribe button below right now. And if you're looking for more videos on this topic, talking about vegans forcing their beliefs or why we do this, then please check out my video on that right here so that you can see why I feel the way I do and why vegans speak up about the plight of animals, the environment, and everything related to veganism. Alright, I will see you next week.